morning folks, it's a beautiful day here out at Bobby Victory in Puchong. Yes, we are back again and guess what? The Alfetta is ready. So we've got Ken over here. Hey Ken! And we've got Faiz. Hey Faiz! Thank you so much for uh, all your effort on this car. And uh, I know it took a long time because the bodywork was not so great. You had to do a lot of bodywork before you start. Guys, this is what I meant about for a classic car. Instead of painting, this is another option because I believe the, the wrap will actually protect the, the body from, from uh, water going in, into the paint and stuff like that. But before Faiz could do the car, he had to do the bodywork first. And that's what took the, the longest time because the wrap was, was done in what, like four days, five days? <laughs> three days, yeah, three days the wrap. But the prep took a long time. So, without further ado and no cuts, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the 1979 Alfa Romeo Alfetta! Holy cow! Look at that! <laughs> and very, very big thanks to Momo Racing for sponsoring the, uh, the wrap of this car and also the lubricants that are going to go into it. We went for a very, very 70s racing design livery. Look at that! 68 was chosen because the Punto is 28, my birth date. 68 is my birth year. Look at that. Oh my goodness, just right. Not so much garish stuff. We've got Momo Racing on the side. We've got the Italian flag at the back. And yes, the car has been debumpered. And I'll tell you the reason why I did that. The racing cars were mostly debumpered and without side mirrors because the side mirrors just did not fit on this car. This car for old school, doesn't need side mirrors. I'm going to get a big, long uh, in internal rear view mirror. Look at that. Those, I'll tell you a little secret. Those were actually used so that because when uh, there was an accident, the glass wouldn't shatter all over the place. If you notice, old cars always had their headlights taped. So that's not going to be on for very long because this car is road legal. Don't forget, I have indicators on the side. So the front has been debumpered. And when they took out the bumper, this is where you see all those little slats and stuff which was hidden, hidden earlier. This is not the first Alfetta I've debumpered by the way. I've actually debumpered my previous Alfetta as well. Look at the Italian flag. So damn cool. This is the coolest. Bro, this is the coolest job you've done so far. Thank you. Thank you so much. Look at that. And no, those alloy rims are not for sale. They are original <laughs> Alfa Romeo Speedline alloys. And uh, you can't, you really can't get them anymore. Look at that. And that's the reason why I told you to park the car inside, right? Because I scared people to steal the rims only. <laughs> Beautiful. I love the little touches here, like the little red that goes into this triangle. So nice. Small, small little details that are coming out from the car now because it's been uh, debumpered. Absolutely gorgeous. So far, it's what was the hardest part about doing this car? I guess it was the bodywork, right? It was the bodywork. The bodywork, because if it's not an if, if it doesn't rust, it's not an Alfa Romeo. It's got to rust. And uh, you had to get rid of all the rust. So, you see, I never, I never noticed this little lump here before because the bumper was all covering it. So damn cool. Oh my goodness. This has been so worth the wait. I've been waiting anxiously for this car. Thank you so much to Kenzone as well. Thank you, Ken. Excellent. Ken has been taking care of this car actually insofar as the lubes are concerned. Of course, we've got to have the four-leaf clover. This is the uh, trademark of Alfa Romeo. Gorgeous. They have really knocked this one out of the park. Okay, why did I choose to wrap the Alfetta and not get it repainted? I just mentioned it very briefly and I'll say it again. I am convinced that wraps can actually protect the metal that's not galvanized and not anti-rusted. I believe it can actually protect the metal from water getting into in between it and the paint. And uh, so it's basically like a, a cocoon, a cocoon for the car. So this whole car, it's a full wrap. And uh, don't ask how much because it's been sponsored and it all depends on the vehicle, right? And also the level of wrap that you're going into, whether it's just one color or whether it's multicolor. So yeah, but whatever it is, head on down, have a talk, have a chat with uh, Faiz. He can definitely, definitely uh, work something out for you based on your budget. I mean, look at this. This is beautiful. So bodywork and uh, wrap done by Faiz. 
mechanicals taken care of by Ken at Kenzone. Yes, Ken can do classics as well. So, there we go. This is just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Wonderful. Wonderful. And speaking of the Cure Sportivo or Sporting Heart, this is it. A dual overhead cam, 2 liter engine with twin Deloto carburetors. Still using the original airbox. Yes, this beautiful thing here is the airbox, the air filters inside. So, still running strong since 1979. This car does not have power steering, but the brake fluid's okay. There's the brake booster right there made by Lucas. Lovely, lovely, lovely car. And uh, still going strong, still going strong, yeah. So this is this car is testimony to preventive maintenance, yeah. Just make sure that everything's okay and she'll keep running like what she was meant to be. Excellent, I'm gonna get Ken to wash the engine bay. Uh, I mean, uh, clean the engine bay, not wash it. Howdy folks. Yes, I'm back behind the wheel of my Alfetta. I'm so happy I missed this car. I missed this car so much. Because this, this is one of those cars where you just get behind the wheel and you're like smiling. So I've got the windows down, sorry, sorry. It's a hot day, but I can't bring myself to put on the air conditioning because I wanted to hear the sound of this wonderful engine. And uh, I just got the car back from Bobby Victor. I'm driving back now. I'm going to park this car at Kenzone uh, because the Momo Racing people are coming over to see it. They sponsored the livery of this car. So uh, they're coming over to see it. And uh, if you want to see the car, drop by Kenzone in SS6. Yeah, I've got no wing mirror, so I gotta turn my head. Yeah, turn your head. It's not that big a deal. So, <laughs> but anyway, if you wanna see this car, come over to Kenzone. It will be there in my VIP parking. Yes, I've got VIP parking at Kenzone. That's how often I go there. So, by all means, drop by, have a look. And uh, no, she's not for sale, but just come have a look and uh, ogle, okay? Don't touch. <laughs> okay, touch a little bit, Ken. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you all that, since you're my loyal, loyal viewers. So anyway, the car is running beautifully. She's been away for about a month and uh, just, you know, parked inside of uh, Bobby Victory in Buchong. But she started up and she's driving so well. Really, really miss driving this car. You, you, have, to, you have to own a car like this to understand what I mean. I cannot, I cannot tell you what it's like to uh, have a car like this and then not have a car like this for about a month and then uh, get back behind the wheel and drive it and uh, only then will you know what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, very, very happy. Of course, you can't tell what the livery is like uh, from the inside, but uh, I think she looks quite spectacular from the outside, uh, judging from the number of uh, people who are coming very, very close and uh, looking. So, yep, very, very happy with this car. Stay tuned, more to come. Just noticed something very cool. This is clear. See, you can see the sky. I thought it was a sticker but it's actually die cut. Awesome, nice one, Faris. Save about 500 bucks. You save about 1,000 plus. To work out teacher can be. 4,000. You want five, even more. It's for 200 plus. 400 bucks of savings. And we're back here at my VIP parking at Kenzone in Klanajaya. Yes, Ken has just given the engine a quick once over. As you can see, it's uh, a lot cleaner now. And uh, yeah, the car made it here fine. Got stuck in a bit of a jam. No overheating issues. Didn't catch fire. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful car. So yes, I think this car is going to be here for a while because I need them to do, of course, the full 10-point service check, Ken. 10-point service check uh, because the car has been off-road for uh, what? About more than a month now, I think. Yeah, more than a month. So full 10-point check. Uh, we're gonna check the battery. It might need a new battery or maybe this one can be recharged. This was in uh, 2019 Ken, was it? Yep. 2019 battery, so three years should be okay, but we'll see. Might need a new battery. Um, other than that, oh yeah Ken, the um, drive shaft sound is still there. The, I think it's the coupling, the one that we call the donut, right? Yeah, I think we need, a, you need another one of those. But you know what, whatever it takes, like I've always said, this, this car is so worth keeping uh, on the road and you know, keeping it going chokes me up a little bit every time I drive this car I mean when a car makes you smile like a kid in a candy store every time you get behind the wheel then it's priceless then it's absolutely priceless so wonderful wonderful car very very happy with it and uh, yeah so if you want to see it come on over 
yeah, a mini museum here, a mini Alfa Romeo museum right here. And then while you're here, you can you know pick up some new tires, pick up some new rims, get the Momo Racing Oil promotion that is still going on, as well as the other promotion that's still going on. Uh, 10 point service check in included, as well as a car wash, wheel balancing, and alignment thrown in. All for a sticker price of between 150 to 180 to 200. Unbelievable. Really unbelievable. So, yeah, drop by. Drop by. And who knows, you might bump into me. Added bonus. Or maybe not. <laughs> Howdy folks, and for the final closing of the Alfetta, we have Miss Jasmine here from Momo Racing Oil. Hello Miss Jasmine, how are you? So is this the oldest car that is using Momo Racing that you know? Yes. Yeah, it's probably the oldest one. And uh, But for Momo Racing, it's a new car and old car is also fine, right? Yes. Very good. The oil is formulated folks for whether it's a classic car like this Alfetta from 1979 or whether it's a newer E39 or a brand new Beza or uh, or any Proton, it is still very, very good. Miss, Miss Jasmine, uh, how long have you been with Momo Racing already? Two years. Two years, huh? And you are in the marketing team. Yeah, so sales team. So if any questions, uh, please put it in the comments and I'll get Miss Jasmine to answer them. Thank you so much again for the sponsorship, Jasmine, uh, for the Momo Racing Oil. Very, very nice. Very, very happy with this. Thank you. Bye.